Oh my god, people are asking me about the Sonic MMO. I, you know, my, it, it was like a little thought I had. Like, what if Sonic had, had an MMO? I talked about various things about it. Like, you know, people want me to actually talk a little bit more about it. And you know what? I will. I will. So, okay, I talked a little bit about the events and what would happen and how it would play. It'd be more like. You know, it'd have action stages, but it would also have kind of an RPG kind of thing. You'd run around like a regular, it'd run, you'd run around in action stages like a regular Sonic Adventure game. You know, there'd be little action stages. Uh, but in certain parts, there would be certain stages where you'd fight an enemy. Like, I'm not saying every bad nick would trigger an RPG battle, certain ones would. I mean, I'd make all of them one, but then again, you'd have to stop the action stages just to fight one bad Nick. Or maybe an action RPG. No. I don't know. I was thinking about that. Like, I was thinking either it'd be turn based or an action RPG. But the classes would probably be something along the lines of Hedgehogs or Speeds. You know speedsters from the side numerous and that could be like you can be any animal you want flight they could be foxes birds and whatnot and bats if you want to have a male bat character power like like knuckles like like the echidnas or armadillos or even crocodiles like Victor. You know, and they all have you like if you're a, if you're a speedster, you basically you basically can do missions for some you do missions for Sonic to start off with. If you're a power character you do missions with Knuckles, and you probably see Mighty because God dang, I would in this theoretical thing I would put Mighty in this simply because you know he, he's in the comics, so that means Sega does have some control over Mighty. So, so yes, I'd probably get Mighty in this. If you're knuckle, if you're if you're really kidding, I like knuckles. He'll he'll tell you the backstory of the kidnas, and this will be more connected to the game's canon. Although the whole thing is like one big multi-canon game where you have not only the comic universes but the cartoon universes as well. As well, even Sonic Boom, Sonic Booms. TV universe. Not the Rise of the Lyric game universe, but the TV universe. Um, I guess, you know, and down the line you can actually fit. I guess when you get to a certain level, because I've been thinking about this off and on, I would say you can choose which version of uh, which. Because first you start out kind of like. Start out in the games canon, and then we get into higher levels. You can go into, you can go into each Sonic continuity. Hell, I'm even gonna bring, I'm even gonna put an X, or maybe X should be within the games continuity. Since, you know, since they're so close. Um. So yeah. Like I talked about in the previous video, the story will basically be all the Sonic continuities converging together because all the different Eggmans are basically converging together to destroy Sonic in each, um, in each freaking uh, multiverse. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of the comic multiverses, and even like if Kim Penders didn't own Scourge. Because, you know, that's why the whole uh, Bugsy and Scourge, uh, Ichigo and Scourge videos have been kind of like not non existent on here anymore. 
because I don't want to kind of get sued, you know what I mean? I mean, I still could do it, but, like, I'm just being careful. But Scourge would be there, too. And his storyline within the, um... You can also choose to be a part of a uh, Robotics Egg Legion or Egg Army. You know. So you can so you can join Sonic side, which is the Freedom Fighter side. And you can join or you can join Eggman and be a complete and total dick. And you actually and actually when you're a high level on Eggman's side, you have the ability like, later on in the story, to turn on Eggman and have your own little, you know, have your own little evil little gang. Kind of like the, kind of like the asshole sandblasters. I don't think, ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> Just wondering where the crap is my mic. I'm like, am I talking to no one? Am I talking to nothing in here? Alright, here we go. So yeah, you can yeah, and then uh, if you pursue that part of the story, uh, you get to actually talk to Scourge, and Scourge is like, so all these different universes on this same place, huh? I can rule over the whole entire multiverse this way, and you either can have see. I wanted to work, I would like to say I would like to do some sort of an ally system, like if you, like if you're in a big battle, uh, you can call on your allies, you can call on Sonic if you're a speedster, or if you've done certain missions for Eat, for Knuckles, Tails, or Sonic, you can summon them. Like each Knuckles and Tails and Sonic from each universe. Hell, even freaking Saiyan Tails, because Saiyan Tails actually gets a little bit of a boost in this thing, because uh, we go, it's like, it will take, like, the Saiyan stuff will probably take place um, after Season 3. Uh, but I would also, just for the hell of it, because, you know, uh, you know, theoretically, I'd be making this. I would also have, like, Bugsy the Hedgehog, like, in a little lab. Just kind of a little Easter egg. If. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Talk about this in a minute. Alright, back. Alright, so, yeah, and also, I would bring back the chows and everything, but, hey, but, I to the little Easter egg. I would actually have you do, 
Um, for Bud the Hedgehog, it would, I would basically, as a kind of self-indulgent thing, I'd probably do, since he is my character, I'll actually have you do certain missions. You know, if you're a Sonic, if you're a Sonic, uh, if you're a Sonic Freedom Fighters fan, like, let's just say theoretically, the, like, my freaking theoretical MMO kind of coincides with the release of, of like, uh, of the, of Sonic Freedom Fighters, right? So basically, you do missions for Bugsy the Hedgehog, you know, and basically those missions you do are pre you your reward not only from a very big XP boost you'd probably get, you get little previews to the next episodes of of Sonic Freedom Fighters, and he'd be like. Here we got we got another transmission. You know you might want to look at it. Also, you can actually use Bugsy the Hedgehog as an ally. And to be honest, he'd be a little bit OP. <laughs> but you can only use him once. Everybody else you can use multiple times, but him you can only use once a day. He's kind of like the he's kind of like uh, how Butters is like. How in Stick of Truth you can basically use butters for mostly everything. You know, when he's your ally. Um, so yeah. And just look and you know, sometimes there'll be missions. There'll be one mission where you actually you actually kind of fuck with Ash Mongoose. <laughs> like this is a normal like this wouldn't be a normal like mission where you fight the where you fight the thing you're supposed to get or get what you're supposed to get and he gets your reward. No. You like there's a part of it where the game changes and you just play. there's like you you sort of go into this pranker mode where you prank the shit out of Ash Mongoose and he's like it's like, okay, I want you to set these little, like, little traps I set right here. I want you to record it. So, but he's got to not know that I'm, you or me are the ones that are doing it. So, you got to be covert. And when, he, and when you win said mission, uh, you get a dialogue like, ha, oh God, you did, you did good, kid, you did good. All right, here. Here's a special transmission. And basically, the special transmission would basically be from me. And it'd probably be like this. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe something like, hey! Well, you did all the Bugsy the Hedgehog missions. I'm actually kind of impressed. Yes, this is a pre-recorded message. And yes, I'm the creator of this MMO. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for doing some of my missions. I know some of them are a little bit weird, a little bit crazy, a little bit awesome, and a little bit hard. But I hope you enjoyed them. You know, if you would, there will probably be more missions in the future. But uh, for right now... This is all you get, and I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, if you w but and then I would kind of, I would kind of lead into another like uh, quest he can do because he'd be a certain level if he does start if he does my like quest log, it'd be more like hey. But uh, uh there's a disturbance in Station Square, a sort of demonic supersonic. You may want to look into that. Well, I'll be. I may not be. I may not. I may not be playing the game, but you know I'm around. See ya. 
But, uh, okay, here's another thing I'd probably do. Like, I'd actually have a character in the game that actually does look like the the NPC of Bugsy the Hedgehog, and I'll be like, yeah, it's me, I'm playing this, I'm playing the game. But I got special perks. But, uh, it'd be more of like a meet and greet. Like, hey, I made this game. But really, it wouldn't be just me, I'd have like a whole, I'd, I'd have like a whole team making this. We could server up keep and a whole bunch of other tech, the whole bunch of the technical aspects of it. You know, I'd, I'd need help on that. Would Sega fund it? I, it wouldn't be like one of those fan MMOs that they, that people have done and they've, you know, closed down the servers. No, this would be totally funded by Sega. If, if, if I was given the chance. I don't know, maybe I'd, maybe, you know, um, float that over to Razor, you know, maybe they might want to use that. But, you know, I think a Sonic MMO would be cool. And, yeah, there'd be team speak. I'll, you know, maybe someday I'll talk about some of the skills you could get. But, uh, yeah, and there's, there would be shipping. I don't know how that would work, but literally, I had this idea, like, if you wanted, if you wanted your character to, like, date certain Sonic characters, it'd turn into, like, a dating sim. And then, you know, if you date certain Sonic girls, you get certain bonuses. In, you get certain bonuses in battle. Like, for Amy, Amy, if you, because you get to summon Amy, if you summon Amy, you get some sort of a love bonus. Or Amy's heart attack. Heart attack. Fuck. <laughs> uh, well, it's an attack with a bunch of hearts and her hammer, and she swings it at, she swings her hammer at the hearts and it hits the enemy. Um, you try to date Sally, or even EXE Sally. Yeah, that, yeah, the EXE shit would happen. Uh, but you'd only be able to get that. You'd only be able to get that date if you, because the EXE like um, world would be only open at Halloween or clo or in October. After that, it just disappears. You know, but. You can date any of this, any of the Sonic girls, except for Cream, you nasty perverts. Now, like, I was looking at this babysit Cream game, and it's just so fucking... Why does Sonic want to fuck Cream? She's a little girl that's sick. Yeah, don't even get me started. There's a masturbation scene with freaking Knuckles, and I guess they're just... I guess, like... In that fucking weird ass porn game, like Knuckles and freaking Sonic, like, they don't show it, but they do say like they're jerking and you know, looking at each other's eyes. I'm like, fuck, what the weirdness is this? But uh, anyways, so basically, um, basically, it would kind of work like a dating sim. Hell, I'd even let you date Wave and Blaze. And even some, even some of, the, and even the two chicks from the storybook series, if you feel like that, if you feel that, if you feel that way. But if you guys want to date Elise, oh hell no. I think I would actually like put it in as a joke that basically when uh, Iblis was blown out, it also. When Robotnik was trying to, when all the Robotics were trying to basically merge the worlds together, they did take Iblis again, but by taking Iblis from that point of reality, they kind of killed Sol like Soliana is like gone because of that. So yeah, 
certain levels you would deal with like Iblis monsters. Like Iblis and freaking Nephilus. Nephilus would be Nephilus. I think the quest line to fight Nephilus would be like this large thing. I'd make an event out of it. Like it'd be. I'd actually either call it the Army of Hell or the Army of uh, Solaris, where you fight a whole bunch of. Cl you find a whole bunch of clones and like Sonic, but they're all Nephilus out, like really creepy looking. Like it makes Sonic EXE shit himself. That's how scary it'd be. And even you find a clone of your own character, various things you'd say to other characters, like I don't know how, but it would be able to get into your fears and fuck with you that way because you tell the game something. Uh, some of the stuff like questions and get into your fears like what do you, and, you know I'd have like a question pop up like questions of the day what are you afraid of what do you fear and uh, they would lay like so you fear this huh or oh you regret this I just think that'd be pretty cool <laughs> I know this is all these self-indulging crap. I know they're never, they'll never make a Sonic MMO. And if, and if this new Sonic game is a Sonic MMO, I'm going to lose my shit. Like, I'm not going to be like, they stole my idea. But I'm going to be like, holy shit. I was on the money. I was just, I was just thinking about freaking this Sonic MMO. But, yeah. Um, that's some of the things I'd have. Uh, next time I'll probably talk about skills and what you can get. And oh yeah, you'd be able to unlock Super Sonic at some, like, at level... You'd be able to, like, uh, unlock Super Sonic at level, um, 20. But from there... I'll say this. From there, Super Sonic, um, your Super Form... Your Super Form has its own skill tree that you have to unlock. But you do get momentarily, you, for first people who use their super form, you do get momentarily, you do get momentary uh, invincibility, and just like in the actual Sonic games. But if you want super skills, you actually have to, you actually have to unlock them while fighting your super form. That would be. Now, all the stuff I've said in these past videos where I actually talk about the MMO, I think this could actually work. You know? Maybe, you know, maybe some ideas need to flesh, be more fleshed out, but I really think it would be a good idea. You know, think about that. An official Sonic MMO from Sega. And, um, if, like, if, like, Dreamcast were look. If, Dreamcast Reloaded did this. Like, if they brought back Sega Net just so you could play that, I think that'd be pretty cool. But you know, just something I wanted to kind of, you know, put down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before I get out of here, they would you would be able to fuse with other characters. Like, not with other player characters, but like with Sonic or with Shadow. Shadow would be in there. Um, just, it'd be cool. It, it'd be cool. It'd just, I'll probably talk about that mechanic when I really start to think about it later. Again, this is not a real, this is not really a real proposal or anything. I'm not proposing anything to Sega, but if, but if someone, you know, would want to like, um, want to help me out with that, you know, you can, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you guys can't, but I'm just saying, it's not like I'm, oh, pretty cool, see you guys later though, bye!